And with respect to the Russian sales, I will tell you this is actually a sale that was slated to happen uh, in 2009. When I first met with uh, then uh, Prime Minister Putin, uh, they actually stopped the sale, paused or suspended the sale at our request. Um, and uh, I'm frankly surprised that it held this long, um, given that they were not prohibited by sanctions from selling these defensive weapons. Um, when I say I'm not surprised, given some of the deterioration in the relationship between Russia uh, and the United States, uh, and the fact that their economy is under strain, and this was a su substantial sale, um, I do think that it sends a, a message about how important it is for us to look like we are credible in negotiations if, in fact, a deal fails and we are needing to maintain sanctions. Uh, because I've heard some in Congress who are opposed to this deal say, either let's just slap on even more sanctions or uh, we'll do sanctions unilaterally regardless of what other countries are willing to do. The reason that the sanctions regime has worked is because painstakingly we built an international coalition that has held this long. And if it is perceived that we walked away from a fair deal that gives us assurances Iran doesn't get a nuclear weapon, then those international sanctions will fray. And it won't just be Russia uh, or China. It will be some of our close allies uh, who will start questioning what the, our capacity or the wisdom of maintaining these. 